Man, you was talking about Atlantic City, man. I remember Atlantic City. That shit was crazy. Yeah. That's why I first saw you do You Don't Know Me. Oh, man. It was the dude in the wheelchair. You remember that? Yeah. And uh, do they know that bit? A lot of people don't know That's it. one of the greatest bits of all time. So the bit is, I walk up to people, anybody with gray in their hair, no matter who they are, I'm walking up to you. And as soon as I see you, I'm saying, hey, you don't even remember me, do you? No, nah, you don't remember me. They looking at you, they like, what? It's me. It's me. If it's a woman, I tell you, it's me. <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't even seen y'all. It's been a long time. I walk up, give him a hug. Ain't got no idea who I am. So I'm just running shit. I said, you know what happened to my daddy, right? Oh, what happened? <laughs> oh, man, yeah, triple bypass. Yeah, they got him out of there, but then we got him back home and they found him in the hotel room with a prostitute. Now you got to get a charge. <laughs> and they trying to take him down for that. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, Grandma, she went on and left us. You know, she, you know, she had been working on it. So I'm, I'm dropping bad news after bad news. You know about Paul, right? What happened to Paul? Car accident, man. <laughs> Can't believe it, man. One behind the other. You know, his mama had just died last March, so I'm dropping all type of stuff. So now the person's invested. I'm like, but it's so good to see you. I'm hugging him. Now, they done hugged me twice. They old. They just, they trying to piece this together. Because right. th to watch them try to want to ask. Wait, where you at? Like, you doing this from the stage? It could be, no, any, no, no in no, person. No, this no. is, a, this is. I'm just walking up fucking with people. Oh, okay. This is just some man on the street type shit. Like, no, there ain't no camera crews. Not like, like, if, if the times we have recorded it. But no, like, if you hang out with me, we you go places. The subway. I'll do it anywhere. You got to see Grocery it. Store. Grocery you store. Grocery store. And, and take them on a ride. And it's so fun to watch their emotions as you drop off. Like, people done died. Everybody died. Everybody dying. Crazy stuff happening. So they just right there. And then when they want to ask him where you know you from, well, now, you, you know, you remember me from where? What? I said, yeah, at the church. Yeah, the church with the fish fry. We was throwing a ball and we hit the car. And you came out there. <laughs> <Now> they, <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. You can't get all that. Which church? The one we was at. Remember when my one. daddy? We, uh, and suddenly, so when they get more information, they give you. They, they, they doing this. What church? Calvary over on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Calvary. So uh, as, as they get that, they all the way in there. They don't. They don't know, and they dying because they know I don't know this person at all. Right. And I'm saying, you know, I'm his Williams' grandson. Oh, they they, they riding with it. And then the, the, the look on their face when you walk away and they got to try and process <laughs> what, who, who the fuck, fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck But was I, that? I, I wanted you to tell that story, man, because it ties in to me when you first came to L.A. Man, dog. And the story that, you know, when you first came to L.A. and Guy Black had been telling me about you for months. Oh, you got to see my nephew. Nephew this, my nephew that. My nephew. I said, all right, tell him, that, you know, when he come out, let's see what he can do. And as soon as I think you got out of the car coming from Texas, we put you right on the mic. I don't even think you had a, you just came right in yeah. and jumped right in. So I respected you for your fearlessness. And yeah. for you and five other people to jump in a car and say, forget it, we're going to go for it and go to Hollywood and pick up couches off the street to decorate the apartment that you probably scammed your way getting into. Yeah, we scammed our way in the apartment. But oh. it, it was just, I, I respect, I'd never seen nothing like that. You read about stuff like that, and you read about people that have courage like that, and for you to take this organization. I've been watching and paying attention, and we work together and done things, and for you to know how to produce something out of nothing is, is amazing. And it really, I, this is not a, a daddy moment, but it really speaks to your father because you know I will speak to your father and the relationship you had with your father. For those who don't have father, I didn't grow up with my father, but for those who don't have fathers, I really saw what that relationship could have meant and did mean to you. The way you loved each other was like nothing I had really seen like before because your daddy would hit me and say, I'm a, you told me your daddy's ready. He quitting his job every time. <laughs> every time you get an audition, he quitting his job. That he quitting his quit. job. That's it. Hey, man, hey, well, you nail it because, you know, I already got my paperwork in. Yeah. I got I got a good package picked out. I'm done. Yeah, he so, said, man, I'm, yeah, I'm going to come out there. And I figured, you know, because I talked to King. You know, King said in the book is, you know, you, you one movie away. You know, just one movie away, I, yeah, I would come man. out there, you know, we work the security, work Guy Black in how we get him, got to keep him calm, you know, <laughs> get a little angry and testy. Like, 
but but the amazing dad man the supportive dad that believed in you and that's all the difference that's why I think you had a crew of people that believe in you just like your dad believed in you you know they believe in you these guys been riding with you you know I would have you know I know people that would have quit a long time ago and said forget it, it ain't gonna work but these dudes been riding with you and loyal to it loyalty is rare and everything in this town yeah. So congratulations, man, to all you guys, man, for believing in a dream and you guys are shooting. And I know the audience doesn't see, you know, how you're doing this, but it's amazing because you really you know, I put in a lot of sacrifice, man. It's like the interesting thing about that is, is like when we when they came out here and we was able to link up, it was like I have nothing to offer you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I was even a little bit more disciplined then, you know, mm -hmm. niggas got a little undisciplined, but the roles is shifted. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a lead and a follow. Like, I might have started leading, but right now I might be following. Mm -hmm. I think as us as men, those are the relationships that you want to have. I can't always lead you. I need to be able to know sometimes I can follow you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, I might just need to follow you. And then maybe one day I might lead you. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it's important to show a certain side of leading and following. Because mm -hmm. one day the person that you show how to lead might have to lead you. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a symbiotic relationship like that, sometimes we have a problem. Like, it, it, we try to keep it like, well, nah, nigga, you can't tell me shit. No, no, no. I've learned over time, you can learn something from everybody if you pay attention. Yeah, I learned this whole medium. When I talk to people in, uh, in the business now, we talk about the whole social media game and the digital game and all that. I said, Billy Sorrells, I said, they don't think I know shit. They go, oh, this motherfucker, oh, he don't know shit. He was back in the old sitcom days. I said, nah, Billy Sorrell brought me into this whole world and broke this shit down to me where I understood it and I understood what medium and how it affected the public and all of that. And we would look at analytics and the numbers and all that stuff. And so they don't think I know, but I know from what you taught me. So it just depends on, like you said, who's it's leading and what's doing. You never know. I learned something. It's a good one. Amen, man.